to Awakened and Aligned podcast, and it's good to see you if you're here on YouTube. My name is Shannon Kaiser, and I'm a mental health specialist, a empowerment life coach. I'd say one-on-one life coach. Coach, but I also do group coaching and retreats. And I'm the author of several books on personal development, how to be happy, how to follow your heart. Really, it focuses on, and all my work is the psychology of happiness, being true to yourself, and self love. So today's topic is really a beautiful one because it's something that's really coming through for a lot of my clients again, and something I've started to really feel into, which is the inner child in us needs us. In my book, The Self-Love Experiment, I have a principle, self-love principles, and one of them is be who you needed to be when you were younger. We all have an inner child that needs part of us. And as an adult, we're often functioning from this place of woundedness that we don't even realize. Yeah, we're diving right in today because this is an important, important topic. So today I want to talk to you. If you feel like you were dismissed as a child or neglected, or you had absent parents as an adult, this is what often happens happens. And so I'm going to take you through how our childhood affects how we show up in our adulthood. So if you're on this personal growth path, if you keep finding yourself in relationships or jobs or situations where you feel taken advantage of, or you feel like you're giving way more than you get, or even you feel just like you are being used on some level, it's often because of our childhood wounds that have not been fully healed. And we don't even know because we're just functioning in the world, doing the best we can. So I'm here to help support you on your journey from a place of love, a place of compassion. And I hope you offer yourself the same love and compassion because that's what helps on our healing journey. So if you were dismissed or neglected, or you had absent parents as a child, then as an adult, you might feel a desperate need. And this is number one, not in any particular order, but you feel a desperate need for belonging. And maybe you feel like no matter where you go or what you do, you don't really fit. You always feel like you're on the outside looking in. You always feel like, I just don't know where I fit. And do I really belong anywhere? And you kind of feel like a loner, even when you're surrounded by people, even when you're surrounded by a lot of people or in a relationship, you always feel alone. And you wonder if you ever will find that feeling. So that's number one. The second one that I'll share is perhaps if you suffered as a young child, not having your emotional or psychological needs met as an adult, you will always feel misunderstood and you will feel like you're not really seen or validated or no one really hears you. And it often will kind of look like you have this belief that your needs don't matter Other people's needs are more important than yours. And this is often because you grew up in a household where other people had to meet their needs first in whatever way. And this can be as simple as, you know, parents who worked a lot and were never in the house to provide for you. So you had, you know, your roof and great food and a home to live in, but they emotionally were never there for you. That really affects a child. And it can also go to deeper levels of abuse, whether you suffered from, you know, psychological, sexual abuse, neglect, you had parents who had addictions or parents who were in and out divorces at young age, all kinds of layers. This is why seeking and working with therapists who specialize in trauma is really important. Working with life coaches who specialize in trauma-informed life coaches coaches, mindset, uh, do a lot of mental health capacity for you because as an adult, we will always feel misunderstood because we were taught at a young age that we are better to be seen and not heard. And when you have something that's important to you, it doesn't matter. Well, what we're trying to do is recondition ourselves to retrain ourselves, to go back to that inner child who needs us. So another way that this affects us as an adult is perhaps you ignore your feelings and you hold back from sharing how you really feel. This can often look like in personal relationships and romantic relationships, you will avoid difficult conversations. And, you know, even in any relationship, you often will try to preserve the peace and just shy away from expressing what it is, you know, in your heart, you want to say. Another thing that may happen, and I see this in my life and also with a lot of one-on-one coaching clients is we experience high levels of shame 
and blame, and you feel self-doubt often. You may project yourself out in the world that you're confident or you feel like I got this, but inside there's this inner angst, this inner frustration and this blame. Subconsciously, you may feel like it's always your fault and you don't know why, and you're apologizing a lot. If you apologize a lot, it's often a sign of a child who was abused or neglected or tried to be controlled by um, a very controlling parent. So another way that this shows up as adults is you keep attracting emotionally unavailable people. Perhaps you're in relationships where every single person is just not able to meet your needs and you say, I'm ready to be taking this further, but they constantly are not. And often what this comes back to is failing to see that you too may have a piece of you that is emotionally unavailable as well, because there could be a core belief at the very, very base that is the belief that you are unlovable. And so if we have this focus where we feel like we're unlovable because we were taught it at a young age, even though that we were said that we were loved, we never really felt it, then this is something that can really show up in your life as an adult. So taking responsibility for how you show up in your connections is just as important as what others do to you. And I'll share another one. It's actually where you feel, like I said, fine on the outside, but on the inside, there is a deep sadness. Perhaps you carry through your life. And if you think about your whole entire life, is there an energetic expression that carries forward? Could be sadness, could be frustration. It could be anger, could be a mix of all of those. You often overthink and internalize a lot. This often ties to the shame that you feel as an adult. You could be a people pleaser and overgiver. You will show up for others as well at the sacrifice of yourself because you were taught that others were more important. So this builds up resentment, builds up resentment and not only towards ourself because we're not being honored. We're not honoring ourselves. We're not being true to ourselves. We're not acting from a place of integrity with self. Instead, we're letting the world kind of show us who and what we should be, but also it turns into resentment and frustration to others. And so this really shows up in our life in a lot of ways. And what we can do is really look at our role and how we want to be better. Now, you as a child did not get your needs met on a full level. And so what it becomes is you being the parent to yourself as an adult, you stepping into a place of reclaiming your peace. And if that means putting up boundaries uh, into the place that, you know, really causes the wounds, then that means you have to do that for yourself. You know, I read a quote the other day, it's not a quote of mine, but it was on Instagram. It's like, you can't heal in the place that caused the pain. And so that's what we have to look at is where in our life, Are we allowing the wounds of the past to play out in the present and really hinder our future? Because you can reclaim your personal peace and step into a place of empowerment. And it all comes back down to giving your inner child what you needed when you were younger. So be who you needed to be when you were younger. You know, Christine Berladette, she is the author of the book, The Key to Self-Liberation. There's a quote where she says, you cannot expect from others that which you deny yourself. So if you find that you're often disappointed in your connections and you have high expectations of people, but you're always, always feeling let down story of my life, right? You're feeling let down because you're often expecting from others what you have denied yourself. So the fix to all of this is to really give yourself the sweetness of life. Give yourself that joy of wonder, that childlike sense of wonder to really give yourself the same love that you so freely give to others. And, you know, most of these patterns that I talked about today are trauma responses. They are trauma responses from not getting our needs met as children. And from this place, we deny ourselves what we give to others because we don't think that we're worth it. So the real work is to know that you're worth it. Keep educating yourself with videos like this with books, follow the heart's guidance and know that you are beautiful as you are. You are worthy as you are, and you deserve the love and kindness just because there were people in your life who couldn't love you in the way that you were needing it. Doesn't mean you are not lovable. You're amazing because the truth is the one for you is you. And so this is all about self-love and reclaiming your focus on knowing how amazing you are. So thank you for joining today. I hope these tips were helpful. I'd love to hear in the comments, which one really resonates and how as an adult, you plan to implement more self-love into your day to give your inner child 
what she needs. 